Hello, peoples. Yeah, what's up, guys? Um, just wanted to show you guys how to build a bucket server to make one for recent versions like 1.1 and all that jazz. So, the first thing we're gonna do if we wanna, this is also for updating too. So this is for updating and making a server. Just real quick. First thing you do is like a bucket, most likely in Google or whatever search provider you use. All right, get craft bucket. Okay, so there's a few ways that you can start a server. This way is pretty much the easiest, so for anyone who's like a noob cake and they just want to get an auto installer, you can do that. But that just gives you a bunch of random shenanigans and it's probably outdated. That's why I have this way. So you're, you're going to need this code. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this and this. So this is for updating to a dev version for 1.1 since Bucket does not have a recommended build yet. So, okay, let's go to here. So I'm not going to actually, oh, never mind. Let me go okay, back. My bad. Here. You go in here. And then you go in. If you guys, you guys have to tell me a short way to get to the Bucket Jenkins form. I forget how to get there really fast, but you're gonna wait for this to load. Whenever it finishes loading, whatever it feels like. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, we're back. And my Camtasia has popped up in the bottom. Okay, great. A great way to stay hidden, right? Anyways, so you're gonna click on this recommend build tab. This is just an easy way to get here, not necessarily... What? Oh, this is a GitHub's link? Let me try if there's a Jenkins one. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, after many fuck fucking fucks, I managed to find what was wrong. So, Jenkins, just for some reason, after, between the last, like, two or three days, or yesterday, according to this... It. Actually, this guy's pretty awesome. He posted the development link and stuff like that because I'm like, where the hell is it? And I can't access Jenkins. It's giving me errors like up the bum hole, and I'm I'm confused and all that shenanigans. So like, if you get an error like this, um, oh shit, it doesn't even want to pop up. Whatever. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to development, latest development build. Oh, here. Has the l all these builds right? You want the newest one, or you don't even know if this is good or not, because it's not as like easy to access. But whatever. Let me tell the downloads. You won't probably. All right. Well, let me let me just download this to where I want it to go. So I made a bucket. I made a bucket folder on my desktop. I recommend everyone do that. That's the first thing you need to do. View desktop icons. I also have all this other shenanigans on my desktop. Okay, so right now it's just downloading. Okay, it's finishing up. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to finish up. Alright. So the next thing you're going to do is um, get rid of all the shenanigans. There. Okay, there you go. There's your 1.1. 1 .1. Next thing you're going to do is go here, go up here, go to get craft bucket. Alright, and then, like before I said, you have to copy this link. But, so you need to go in here, make a text file, name it whatever you want, say, well since you're running a server on it, you want to name it run. So, you can either go into this, edit it, drop the text down into it, or, right away, you can turn it into a bat file. Turning into a bat file is about the same now with Windows 7. If you have Windows 7, if you have Windows XP, just go into a text file and create it. For this one, you can just right click on it and hit edit. See? And then, um, you're just going to. I have a. If I have a 64 bit, so I use this sometimes. I use. I alterate the. And then you're going to copy and put that in here. But wait, listen about to, about to what I'm. Sorry. Listen to what I'm about to say. The next. Oh, what the. Ah, fucking. Okay. So this is the name of your Java. Your Java jar. 
you're gonna need to change this to whatever this says. So, so this is cra so this is craft bucket dash one point one dash r one dot jar. So that would be about right. You would save, exit. Next thing you're gonna do is run the server. All right, so we're just gonna wait until it runs. And uh, usually this first step, it's going to give you a bunch of errors, it's going to create its folders for you and be all like happy about it and sh all that shenanigans. So it's creating that, it's creating its spawn area. So while we're doing that, we're just going to quickly look at some other things that you could do with Bucket. Also, you can skip all this by doing this, but this guy won't have the latest dev build and this is the only way you can do it for now, because there's no dev, there's no recommended builds yet. So we're going to go back into Bucket, get plugins. This is how to download pu plugins. This is just every sort of like basic details of Bucket. Alright, so my, f my server's done. You know what version of your server is by... Oh no. Apparently my version is 1.0.1. .1. That can't be true. Huh. Oh. Huh. Let me check this out. Oh, I already have this opened up. Well, I have the 1.0.1. 1 .1. Huh. Well, you guys shouldn't get this error, so... Whatever. What's with my... Oh, okay. Okay, so let's quickly just go back here. So my server's been run, and it's turned on, and... When you click on the plugins, it should go to there. So I'm just going to skip right to when it gets to the plugins. Alright, so I'm in the plugins, you have a wide variety of plugins. So the first plugin that you're ever, ever gonna want is the Essentials. You always want Essentials. Essentials plugin. Search. First one that comes up, Essentials. A collectful a collection of useful plugins and commands and all that. So you're gonna want to go for this new one, you're gonna need bleeding edge. So you're gonna have to click bleeding edge builds. But, oh, never mind, it works. Stable builds, dev builds, often our development builds. Okay, and then you're going to probably want this build. I will be right back. I am back. One dog added, and a little bit more awesome. Okay, so we're looking at the screen. Okay, dev builds. Let's see. We'll see what this build looks like. 11 tests passed. La 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 la. Hmm. Changes. Tests. Where is the. D Can I click on this? No. If I click on this. Sorry, this is my first time doing this, so I have no idea where the download link is. I'm pretty sure I just missed it. Let me go back. View. Uh, where is the download? Is the download artifacts? Test. So I'm in the middle of opening up Vegas Pro, right? So I'm like about to edit the video that I just showed you, and I realized something. Or this is kind of this would be halfway through the video, wouldn't it? That I didn't look at the essentials where the download was. And the essentials download is actually in the artifacts, and I was not aware of that. It's right up here. So I just wanted to uh, quickly show you what to do with these. So you're going to download it, you're going to open it, wait until it opens, wait a while actually. Yeah, see, I, was, I don't care about your update. Okay, so you're going to open up your essentials full, that's No. Just open it. I just want it to be opened. There. So you're gonna drag all these files into the into your bucket plugins folder. So you're gonna drag every file into the bucket plugins. So this is all the files you're gonna need for starting a server with group commands and all that. If you guys want me to do group commands, just tell me. I'm pretty sure there's tons of tutorials on it, you don't even need to ask for me. So, yeah. 
and that's just all I wanted to let you guys know that there is a dev build for 1.1 my server is running because I was just on it I will be posting the dev build since Jenkins is down etc 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 continue with your video folder and drop them in so I guess we'll test the plugins and drop them in that's it and that's pretty much it and um, for server properties don't really have to do much spawn NPCs spawn C and all that yep and then you connect to your own server by entering in either local host or anything like that so I'm just gonna give you a brief demonstration of what a bucket server should look like I will be right back okay so since that last plan pretty much backfired I yesterday I already updated my custom map server so it has this I will post this on Mediafire so that way people don't have to rage about it just remember guys you have to change your bat file and change this name to whatever the name of the file is and if it's not changed to that you will get an error I don't want you guys spamming my my post going doesn't work doesn't work cuz I don't want I don't want to hear it <laughs> okay so it says 1.1 version all that stuff then I joined my server with one one twenty seven oh one oh one. So yeah, this I hope this is the end of the video. Do I have to include anything else? I pretty much did the, what you're supposed to do. Refresh, come in, and there you go. I was I'm just on my special build which I'm building stuff on at the moment and made a train station go yep pretty much that's it thanks for watching that's about it oh, sweet jesus oh, I'm a bit scared these get these gas Oh Stay no! I am coming, okay, thank goodness. I'm scared.